Now, before you change the channel or sigh in despair, it's actually a book and movie inspired tutorial. It's The Three Musketeers. This is actually a really old copy, it's from 1913. And I know to most people that's like, ew, old book, but to me that's like, inspiration. Because it's an old copy of a really good book. Uh, the Three Musketeers is an amazing book. I've loved probably every single one of the renditions of it in film. And on what I think is the 21st, a new version of The Three Musketeers is coming out in a movie. So I'm doing a movie Three Musketeers inspired nail tutorial and I hope you all like it. So the basis of this tutorial is this, oh, I love this color so much. It's this like really, really dark blue, but it's a sparkly blue, so it's a navy blue that just, it's just such a gorgeous color. I would describe it maybe as a royal blue, which is what the musketeers are all about because they wear those blue, um, I don't want to call it an apron because it's not an apron. <laughs> It's like uh, the insignia of the musketeers. They wear it on top of their uh, on top of their clothing, and it's this kind of blue. And then they have like a fleur de lis, uh, which is actually I believe the symbol of France. It's a fleur de lis um, in white with like gold accents. So of course, what are we gonna do today? Is base in blue, fleur de lis in white, and then little accents in silver and gold. This is more of a bronze, but. It looks like gold once it's on white. So, we're gonna start. Base coat, I already applied it. Always apply your base coat. I told you I use a L'Oreal base coat. There it is. Okay. Here goes nothing. Now because it's a dark color, you can get away with doing one coat of nail polish, but I like to do two just because it makes the blue even deeper. So I'm going to just do two coats on all the fingers except for my middle finger. There we go, two coats done, beautiful blue, I love this blue so much. It's such a nice color, I would just wear it just on its own, I love it. And then once it's dry, not before it's dry, once it's dry, we can um, start doing our fleur de lis. Now, it's a bit of a complicated design, but I'm going to simplify it as much as I possibly can, um, just so that you can follow the steps and do it yourself and have it done for the movie. Now, I'm doing the fleur de lis in white. If you have a silver, you can do it in a silver. Um, I like it in white just because it lets me play around with uh, the colors and the shades a bit more. So once this dries, I'll get started. Actually, a funny little tidbit about me. I love this color so much. My color, my, my car is actually the same color as this nail polish. It's like this midnight blue and it's sparkly too. So just a little tidbit. I really, really like this color. So here goes. So what we're going to do is you're going to just use a very, very thin paintbrush and you're going to dip it into your white nail polish. And then you're just going to start at the base of your nail. So it's going to be like the fleur de, uh, fleur de lis is facing you. You're going to start at the base. You're going to make a triangle with the tip of the triangle facing, facing you. So. Now we're not going to close that triangle off. We're going to leave it open. I've got a little hair from my brush onto my nails. I'm going to leave it open. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually, you're going to bring the paintbrush inwards so that it's like you're not closing it off, you're just moving inwards and up, inwards and up. So, just move inwards and up, inwards and up. There we go. So it goes inwards and up. It almost looks like a ribbon right now. If I point it towards you, it looks like a, one of those memorial ribbons. But if it's facing the other way, it looks like maybe even like a fish. See, it's like a fishy shape. And then you're, what you're going to do is you're actually going to bring these two lines back together. In like a point. 
and then you're just going to color the whole thing in. Now what we're going to do is make sort of like curved leaves on each end. So you just go start from about where the triangle stopped, go upwards and curve. And same thing on the other side. So you're going to go upwards and curve. You can make it a bit thicker. And then you're going to make a line, leave a little blue, and then make a line downwards as if it's continuing. There we go. So here, that's what we have so far. And last, you're going to go from one swirl to the other, just a horizontal line across like this. Okay, so I don't know if you could see well this way, but if you go like this, it actually looks like a fleur de lis. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna accent it with gold and make it look even more royal. So we're gonna take our mind's a uh, bronzy gold and we're gonna make accents on it. Now wait for the white part to dry before you do this so that you don't smudge what you've done so far. And our accents, are just gonna go on the sides of the fleur-de-lis. So you're just gonna add little lines. There you go. Now you have a detailed fleur-de-lis. Hope you guys can see that okay. There we go. Now the finishing touches on this are going to be, you can leave it like this if you want, but I like to add a little silver. So I just take this and I do like a silver tip on the rest of my nails. I'm a really big fan of glitter, if you can't tell yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a silver tip. And that makes the rest of the nails kind of fancy too instead of just looking plain next to your beautiful fleur de lis. Not to mention that silver is also one of the theme colors for the Three Musketeers. And you can be generous with the glitter and you don't have to use a striper if you don't have a striper. Just use a paintbrush, it'll be fine too. There we go. And then if you have room on the finger you did the fleur de lis, you can add a silver tip as well. I like to, just for continuity's sake, I just make a thinner line but you don't have to if you don't want to. And then once it's all dried, you can add your top coat. So that was my Three Musketeers tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go watch the movie, I know I will. Subscribe for more to come. Bye guys.